So you have your business idea, but you don't know how to get started. You've heard about video, but you don't really know what to do with it. Ben's here and he's gonna show us how to get started with using video for your business. Hey y'all, so I have been here and he's gonna help us talk all about video and what you need to get started. So Ben, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm a tech YouTuber, I do uh, camera reviews, I do uh, vlogging equipment reviews. You know, anything to help the younger generation and getting started into social media or YouTube. Okay, so that really does bring us to the first thing about why is video so important? And so you are a YouTuber, which is like, that's 100% video, right? But um, why do you think YouTube and, well, YouTube and video in general is so much better than the other forms of media out there? I feel like being personal with your audience is, much better than just hearing the audio because but people are visual and uh, and hear things and see things mm -hmm. and it just gives a better connection to your audience I mean yeah. you can see like anybody that I'm talking to oh, I went to VidCon this this year and I'm jealous of it's, that <laughs> it's a, a bunch of kids a lot of kids and everybody wants to be youtubers because they see the the older generation or they see the older people and they're doing very well they see they hear them and they want to be them they want to be that influencer yeah everybody wants to be everybody wants to be influencer but they don't yeah. know how to get there so but i think you're right like video does connect people so much more mm -hmm. i than just like a blog post or an instagram post like it's just it's something about looking someone in the eyes, mm -hmm. even even if you're at at home on your bed with like with your laptop, just having that connection with them, being able to see their eyes, their facial expressions, mm -hmm. it makes them so much more more personable and like it really does build that no like and trust factor, which I always talk about on my channel. So these people that are watching this video, they're probably going to be wondering. How do I get started? I've heard that video is like the thing of the future. They've heard by like some some stat that's like by like 2021, like 97% of content's gonna be video. And they're like, oh shit, I should probably start doing video. Mm -hmm. And, um, but they're like, well, what do I do? Like I have to go out and get all this stuff. And so we're gonna be tackling those today. So one of the myths that I always um, am brought up with, what? <laughs> some of the myths that I hear all the time is, that they need everything. They need all of the top of, of the line equipment to get started. They ha they need their, their, their videos to be pristine and the way that they can do that is by having great videos and audios and everything like, like that. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Like, do you need to have like a thousand dollar camera to get started? Like, what are, what are your thoughts on that? No, you don't need a thousand dollar camera. You don't need expensive equipment, to be honest. If you need, if you think you need like all of this equipment, why don't just contract it out? Because it'll be cheaper in the end, to be honest. And Photo equipment, anything. video equipment, it's expensive and it adds up over time because once you sit, when you think you need this, you need this. In the industry, we call it gas. Gas? Gas. What? It's gear, <laughs> it's gear acquisition, acquisition syndrome. So you, 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 Ooh, you, you, get like that, that. you get that syndrome, like I want to buy this, then I buy this, then I buy this. So like, it, it's a never ending cycle once you get into it. And, Gear does not make the creative or the person behind the camera good. Mm. Ooh. That's true. That yeah. is so true. <laughs> like Ansel Adams says, the most important part of the camera is 12 inches behind it. So if the person behind the camera shoots very amazing content with the cheap equipment, mm -hmm. then they can do it with expensive equipment. But it's not going to be the other way around. Say, you know, a lot of people come to me, I, I, I shoot photos before I got into video. And a lot of my mentorees, you know, like, should I upgrade this, should I upgrade that? And I'm like, hmm, depends. Do you have a reason to upgrade that camera? You should always have a reason to upgrade something. Like, the iPhone, this is an amazing vlogging, video camera, photo camera, you're always gonna have it on you. It doesn't have to be an iPhone, but team iPhone over here. <laughs> <laughs> Same here, I have my little iPhone right now. But, this, you know how many YouTubers and social media experts and social media um, influencers use the iPhone for Everything. their millions, millions of subscribers or followers? Like, this is good enough. So they're but, not carrying around big old cameras to pull off the content that, that they're making. No, they don't need to. But that, that goes back into 
do you need to have better equipment? So I always say get better equipment when you need it. Have a good reason. Like storage sucks on this thing. I have a small iPhone, or you want to have more finer control over the um over the over the lenses and all mm -hmm. that. Which I mean, you can actually buy lenses for the iPhone too. But that's ooh, kind of always have a reason when you upgrade okay. or want to upgrade. Okay. So okay. So. <clears throat> Just because you get better gear, it does not mean that your video is gonna be, be better because I feel like you still have to learn how to use that yes. more expensive equipment too, right? So, and um, you can get the same effect that the big YouTubers have, like um, Casey Neistat. Like he, mm -hmm. just because he carries around a Canon 80D, that doesn't mean that you have to if you want to make videos just like him. Mm -hmm. So, actually with Casey Neistat, um, he started with a, uh, most of his career, a uh, YouTube career, he had a 70D, then went to 80D, of course, kind of the same camera. Mm -hmm. But um, he's shooting with a 1DX Mark II right now and like really high-end cameras, but he worked his way up to that. He needed to get those cameras to get his production value better. And with Got experience it. comes better because if you start off with the most technical, the most expensive, the most, you know, the you have all this equipment, <laughs> if you don't know how to use it, you're still gonna be just as bad or maybe even worse than if you don't know how to use the small stuff. That is so true because I, cause I fell for that. Mm -hmm. Like I, so I have, so I was making videos with my um, iPhone and with my um, MacBook, right? But then I was in this YouTube like phase and I was like, okay, I want to now step it up. Like I was like, my videos are gonna be like amazing. It's time for me to, to invest in a Canon 70D and I'm gonna get this microphone and I'm gonna get all this stuff. And um, I didn't even know how to use it. <laughs> I didn't even know. I just assumed that it was gonna be like similar. And I knew that, like, I knew that there was gonna be some type of um, learning curve, but like there, it is a very steep learning curve. And I was like, it kind of like, I bought it and then I don't even want to use it now <laughs> until until I find someone to type, teach me. So I probably need you to teach me how to use it. But <laughs> and so right now I just I use it on like automatic or like mm -hmm. up on like a, um, a manual just just setting that I just use for everything. And so the video quality could be better, but I don't know how to do it. And when this whole time I could have just just used my iPhone and it would have been just fine. Mm -hmm. It could have I could have. Um, spent more, I, well, I could have spent more time actually focusing up on the content and not worrying so much about the tech and it would have been just as good. My followers would have liked it just as much as they would have liked the um, the big old camera one. Yes. So. It's a good okay. thing that uh, modern day cameras, the automatic features mm -hmm. are totally amazing. <laughs> like it can get you pretty much 90% of the way. If you want to get like the more higher production quality feel, maybe you shoot manual, but to be honest, most people put that and do automatic and just keep on shooting. But um, you said people like, you don't need the bigger camera to to have your viewers watch your content. Mm -hmm. Content is king. It doesn't matter like what you're shooting with. Honestly, people that are watching this video, you got no clue what I'm shooting this, with the, this video with, <laughs> but you're probably gonna be watching it because the content is engaging. It's answering the questions for the audience, for you. So as long as your content is clear, your content is um, you know helpful, your story is good, people are gonna watch it. You're right. So now there's another one. I have another one. So um, I don't know about you, but like every time I hear like like myths like this, I get all like flustered, and so uh -huh. I start like getting like really irritated. But um, the next one is you need a really nice like studio. Like you need all these. Um, you need like the like to rent out some place or you need a perfect background in like in order to get started because otherwise people are going to be like like looking at your backdrop and not listening to you like you need all this stuff mm -hmm. to to get started and because you see all these like um youtube videos that have the youtube setups and things like like that but do you really need to go and get a youtube setup like home studio setup in order to get started like can you just can you just cut on the camera and just start filming like what like what do you think? What are your thoughts? You don't need a studio per se because, like I said, the people are coming for your content. Like, mm -hmm. I've shot stuff in my bedroom with a bed behind me. People are still watching that <laughs> content. Like, uh, there's some people that shoot just in their living room, just walking around, shaky camera. 
Like, it, it is not anywhere close to cinematic, and people <laughs> are still watching it because they have a good story. And it, you don't need it. So, you need three things to shoot video or photos. You need light, the camera, and a lens. That's all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, in, in, uh, in video, you might need a microphone because you need good audio. Yeah. If you can't hear them, they're like... <laughs> no, one wants to, no one wants to listen to that. But light, camera, lens. That's all you need. So, I mentioned light. No one wants to wa watch you in the dark. But, I mean, if you still got a good content, if you got a good story, maybe somebody will watch you in the dark. But generally, if, you, if you're lit, your face is lit, people are going to watch you. Mm -hmm. Light Lighting is a good thing. Like, natural light. If you have a window in your in your place, mm -hmm. turn towards the window. You're going to look, look look real uh, spiffy. It's, it's perfect. Like, it, like, and it's free. You don't have to buy anything. Just record your videos in front of a window, yeah. and that's all the light that you'll need. Mm -hmm. that's or go outside. Simple. No one thinks about that. Yeah, <laughs> yep. no one thinks about that because they think about YouTube gear. Like whenever, like there's so many, I think we get tricked by um, the content that's out there with people um, showing off like what they have, but it took time to get to where they are. And mm -hmm. they're just showing their audience where they are <clears throat> right now. That isn't where they were on day one. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of people are here on, on day one. And I'm so happy that you're telling them that like there are free options for you to um, to get started with video like yes. lighting you don't have to invest in like a light kit You don't mm -hmm. have to buy a ring light if you don't want to you can just sit in front of a window and just press record mm -hmm. Like that's that's perfect. I love that um, Do you have any, anything else else to add to like to that myth? Uh, not really. I mean, but going back to if you do want to buy stuff mm -hmm. Amazon.com eBay.com yo, you can find some really cheap lighting equipment or like, like you can buy some some Chinese stuff. Oh. Really cheap. Oh, <laughs> really cheap. I mean, I've reviewed some of them, uh, some of the um, the cheapest stuff on my channel, and some of them is like, I can't tell the difference between that and the three hundred dollar item. But really, going, yeah, going back to the the whole like, as long the story is good, it, that's mm -hmm. all that matters. Okay, so um, another thing that people get really like worked up about is editing the video like they think that they have Ooh. they think that they should um not have any any errors or they think that they have to um shoot it all in like one shot mm -hmm. they think that um or even if they don't shoot it all in one shot they don't know how to edit a video and they think that it's like a really huge learn a, a, a really huge learning curve in order for them to get started right and so um <clears throat> Because most people think about um, when it comes to video editing, they think of like Adobe, mm -hmm. and um, people have jobs that are just for Adobe. Yes. And um, if you are a coach or a consultant or a personal brand, you don't have time to learn a whole new platform, a whole new um, program, while you're still trying to make content and grow mm -hmm. your business. So that kind of gets kind of hard, and so sometimes that can make people just kind of give up on, like up on video and so how can they do they have to use adobe first like they don't that, that, that for the general industry adobe is the industry standard then you have final cut pro which is kind of the uh, adobe that uh, the apple version of the adobe premiere which is the video editor and you have uh vegas pro which i don't like red vegas pro but i mean people use it <laughs> good on them and it's cheap and there's so the, the bad thing about adobe it's subscription based. You gotta pay, depending on what kind of discounts you might have or don't have, you might be paying upwards from $29.99 a month all the way to $50 a month. Mm. For the whole suite or whatnot. But the thing about Adobe that, why it's industry standard is it interfaces with Photoshop, uh, it interfaces with um, After Effects, it interfaces with all the Adobe suite, which most corporations use or most you know big jobs use corporations and mm -hmm. and and big businesses so keep that in mind like if you're not mm -hmm. a, a corporation maybe you don't need it you don't i mean going back to vidcon yeah i ran into a booth and it's a film film more booth i'll leave a we'll leave a link down in the description below mm -hmm. and here's a little little Some snippet <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um film more is a good one it's like under 50 dollars maybe you can get for 20 dollars depending on the sales it might have mm -hmm. um Another good one is it's free if you're an Apple user, iMovie. I mean, come yes. On. Let me. Oh my gosh! Just I recorded. So I had I made everything in mm -hmm. iMovie, and I loved that it was in um, my phone too, and on my uh, MacBook. It was so easy to do. It's literally just 
you just put in the video and then you just start chopping up whatever you don't yeah. want and then adding in transitions. So it was very easy for me to use and I am not a video editor at all. And I had people asking me, Jamar, do you edit videos? I'm like, no, <laughs> this video is crap. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's yeah, like, right. I, they're like hard cuts to like things. And, but everyone, but no one noticed that but me mm -hmm. because the content was good. Mm -hmm. So, sorry, continue on to your other things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so the iPhone or the Android, like people, I mean, if you shoot video on your iPhone or Android or whatever phone you have, there's editors for that. Now for the iOS, I can recommend um, Luma Fusion. That's it's an amazing software for like twenty dollars. And of course, back to iMovie. <laughs> yes. So Luma Fusion is a little more technical because you can have like three tracks and two tracks of audio. But okay. iMovie is just one track of audio, one track of video, and it's pretty simple. Okay. But you have, you know. Well, there's certain things. Well, I feel like that like that's a good step, like stepping stone, right? Mm -hmm. Like where. Um, iMovie, if you do not want to like pay for anything and you just want to, like think about this too, like you do get what you pay for. So um, iMovie can be limited. Like mm -hmm. there are some things, there are some things that I was searching for in, I'm, in, in iMovie as I was doing my um, videos that you just couldn't do mm -hmm. um, like feature wise. And so you, you would have to get some other things. And so um, maybe if you want to step up to LumaFusion, um, that is possible. Mm -hmm. like, LumaFusion is basically like, it's pretty much Adobe Premiere, just LumaFusion. Oh, perfect, yeah. yeah. Adobe's actually working on a project called Rush. It's gonna be uh, released, I don't know when, but it's basically uh, and uh, Android, iOS, Mac, PC. It'll be the exact same program across the, on the board and Supposedly, it should be a good, a good time. Oh, good. But uh, I'm so I'm very excited to see that that project, and when it comes out, it'd be it'd be a killer for um for cross-platform editing. Okay, so so that's going to be something good for um for anyone to um to get mm -hmm. their hands on and use. Yeah. Okay, good. But as of right now, iMovie if you're on an iPhone. Or Luma Fusion, if you're on the iPhone. I don't know what Android users have. I feel bad for them. And that's gonna be, <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be really good, like for um for Rush because that's how it happens. Like there there there's always like a um, separation between mm -hmm. like um tools, right? If you yeah. have an iPhone, you use this. If you have a, um a um oh my gosh, if you have an Android, <laughs> use this. <laughs> like, um, but we need an Android person here. Yes, are you out there? I'm like, I'm like where are you, Android people? But um. Having just one platform like like Rush will be re will be really good for um, people to use across the board. So yes. hopefully that comes out really soon, and mm -hmm. you guys will be able to um, to use that if you want to. Now, now tying in the editors to the equipment, it's the same thing with with video editors. If you can't afford or if you don't have the budget for like Adobe or the three hundred dollar um, Apple one. Da -da -da -da. What is it? Uh, oh my god! I just said it too. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, film, um, film. Oh, oh right? no, no, that's not film. That's another oh. company. But um, um, Final Cut. Yeah, Final, Final Cut. <laughs> Apple. Final, obviously, I don't use Final Cut on a daily. I'm gonna add we guy. I actually started with Premiere uh, 1.0. I started from the beginning. Oh dang! Now we're here. Now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but have a reason to get into the more professional editor because. If forty dollars get you by, you know a lot of people, big YouTubers, a million, two million, in the million subscribers, that the editing with iMovie, you're like, mm, well, that's true, that's true because again, like how you said, the gear does not make the video better. Mm -hmm. It's it it's your content, yep. and so if you can get by with with the free thing like iMovie, then just use it because sure. there are other big big name YouTubers out there that are already doing it. There's other big um, people out there doing it now, so. So you yeah. mentioned um, the features that you um, you needed. Did you need them to? Like, would your viewers see that that feature that you needed? Like, no. Mm -hmm. well, well, I feel like they would see it. I think it was something like maybe. Um, I think it was a way for me to make like jump cuts better or, uh, or something. I and I was like, maybe this would would, would work. But <laughs> literally, when I posted my first video, my I think my first vlog. Everyone, they, they they just liked it, and um, the cuts were like kind of <laughs> brutal. Like it, like it, it wasn't like a big deal, and um, no one comes to see no cuts. one cared. <laughs> no one cared at all. But when I watch YouTube videos, I'm like, oh, that cut was really good. Like yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, how do they do that? How mm -hmm. do you, how do you do that little like 
I don't know. The, uh, yeah, the, the little, the, like, how do you do that? Fan. But then I knew if I did that, my followers would have been like, boy, why? you don't do this. <laughs> on the, like, why would you do that? <laughs> it, it just doesn't make sense. And so, I, and so, um, I don't know. I just, I, I think I was just in my head most mm -hmm. of the time. Like, it didn't make sense to even do it or to even worry about it. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I have um, one final myth for you, mm -hmm. and it is about after the video is published, they're like, mm. oh my God, um, people are gonna hate it, or um, people are, are gonna leave like all these comments down below. Like, um, what do you think Think about that? Like, are when it, if you were to publish your first video, like you just starting off, off the ground, and you're creating this content, your first video goes out, what typically happens when you post your first video? No one watches it. No one watches <laughs> it. No one at all yeah. watches it. Maybe your friends, family on Facebook. If you post it on Instagram, maybe people on Instagram. My mom watched my video mm -hmm. and she was like, good job, baby. And like, it was like, that was it. That was yeah. all. And so keep in mind, like, um, I think even like bigger, um, bigger people like Gary V, like he did um, all these videos and he said like he, it wasn't until, until his 100th video that like people started looking at it. Now you don't have to, it's not gonna take you 100 videos. What am I saying? It might help though having 100 <laughs> videos because you'd be more searchable and be more relatable because when people go to your channel, mm -hmm. like if you have one video on there, I mean, they're gonna click away. They're like, okay, he's, he's on the If you have a bunch of videos, then they start searching. Maybe they'll be interested in this, mm -hmm. this, and this. It actually is good for the like, YouTube algorithm to have more videos because you have more, more, more things out in the sea. And you can, but you can put more out without having to to worry about the um, the type of gear that you're using, or like worrying about the, the technology, right? Mm -hmm. Because you can just, um, if you do put <clears throat> put put more out, because you're you're totally right. Like you know, the more you put out, the more watch time that, that you'll get from your YouTube videos, right? And YouTube prefers watch time these days, not views. They do, and so what I am thinking about is if you just just put out information and you know that no one's gonna really, no one's going to um, really care about that first video that you put out, mm -hmm. the, um, the amount of anxiety and the like imposter syndrome that happens mm -hmm. should decrease a little bit because you're just putting it, it, it out there. It isn't until you have a really good library of content that people that you don't know are going to be um, like finding it and then they're yeah. gonna be like watching it. Cause at first I think your small circle of people are gonna be watching your, your videos and they may be like, and maybe sharing that video out for you to kind of help you get to, um, get to like your watch time and to get your name out there. But when it comes to like maybe like your 20th video or like your 30th video, that's gonna be when people are gonna be starting to like to binge watch your content, as long yes. as your content is good. Mm -hmm. So don't focus up on the camera and the audio. Well, I mean, the audio has to be good, but like don't focus up on so much of the, the, the technology, but focus up on what type of value you are, that you are delivering, right? So that, that way in two weeks from now or a month from now, if someone finds you, they're gonna go back and see mm -hmm. what you have to offer and they want to be pleased with it. They, they want to say, oh, this person really knows what they're talking about. Oh, this person has um, really good ideas on X, Y, and Z. I'm going to subscribe or, or I'm going to opt into their email list or I'm gonna do these things to stay connected with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The best thing I found in my experience is making a series of videos. Like that has one mm -hmm. overarching uh, theme. Mm -hmm. So like I do tech content and mine is I do a, a series of um, the Canon M50, then a, a series of the Canon this and a series of this camera. It's just a series. Uh, some people like to watch a series of videos. I don't know why, but they do. So Netflix, I think Netflix has us on this whole binge watching thing, mm -hmm. right? And so we, and so now naturally as a culture, we're, we're wanting to know like, what's the next video? That's the same reason why YouTube yes. has an up next thing going, like going on a continuous basis. Mm -hmm. And so um, wouldn't you want it to be your video that comes up next versus someone else's mm -hmm. video up next? And so I feel like, I mean, I know I watch YouTube, like just, I just keep, letting YouTube just tell me what to watch next going yeah. on. And if you have a lot of content, that means that the probability of your video coming up next is very, very high. Mm -hmm. um, and if it is in a 
if it is in a series, that next series is going to be the next video. Yes. And so, or even like like playlists, right? I think yes. playlists are um, good for that. The highest chance to get the, the next video is put it in a playlist. There you go. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, so we talked about the myths about like what happens about you needing the basic equipment, you not knowing, oop, you um, not having to really get a YouTube studio. You don't need to like kind of go somewhere. You don't have to rent out like an, an, an all white thing or get a huge backdrop. Um, Even though it'd be nice. but It would be know. nice, but you Goals. know, if you're just starting out, to me, I think if you're just starting out, you want your cost to be very, very low. Yes. Like you don't want to get a backdrop. That's my thing where I messed up and I wish that I knew this, these, these things before mm -hmm. to where costs need to be low because your first 10 videos, people are not going to see like through like search, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to be pushing those things out more. And so as long as the content is good, your circle of people already know you. So if you're on, on, on Instagram, you're probably going to be posting the video, um, on your stories or anything like that. So those people already know who you are. They don't need you to um, like wow them with like a nice backdrop and, and a nice studio and things yeah. like like um, like that. They already know who you are. Um, and as long as the content is quality and they know what value you bring, they're gonna watch the video mm -hmm. and they're gonna do whatever you want them to do next. Like that's the whole goal. And so, but anyway, we talked about the YouTube studio and we talked about the editing um, mm -hmm. myths, right? You don't have to have Adobe in order to, to edit really good videos. Um, so there's not going to be that big of a learning curve. And then finally, we talked about what happens after the video, what happens Wait, I think I said that already. <laughs> I think I said that already. Anyway, that you don't have to have. <laughs> and so I think we covered all the myths. Um, if you guys have any myths, be sure to leave them down below and I'm gonna make sure that Ben comments down below of what you could probably do instead of, <laughs> of being concerned about those, those things that don't really matter, right? Um, so at the end of the day, Ben, to wrap up this video, what do you need to get started with video? I think you mentioned it it, it before, mm -hmm. but let's kind of just bring it on home. Lights, camera, and a lens. That's all you need. <laughs> That's it. Really? Nothing else. If it has, if if you have lights, the window mm -hmm. is just fine. The Not camera, right. yep. the camera is um your iPhone or a smaller version. Like like not. You don't need to buy a thousand dollar camera. Or and the lens for if you're using your iPhone, the lens is, is is already in it. Or you can add on a cheaper version of that yeah. lens that that clips on if you want to. Let's not go too crazy. Keep the cost low. It, and I think what else was it? Um, lens, camera, and lights. And lights. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's so easy. So I want to know what else is keeping y'all from getting started. If you like this video, feel free to like it. And follow Ben. <laughs> I don't even know what else I was gonna say. I was like, follow Ben. Follow me on YouTube. I'll leave you a link down here in the description, in the, in the description below too. I can't talk. But um, or you can follow me at uh, Instagram at Ben Dong, B I N H D O N G. And so we're going to now. I want you guys to go over to Ben's channel because we're going to record a video to talk about content creation. For social media right mm -hmm. yeah we're gonna talk about like the questions I see a lot like how to repurpose content for like multiple different like my problem is I can I throw that video out there <laughs> and that's about it and, that, and, and, <laughs> and, 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 and just let it die I saw you um on, a, on your Instagram feed mm -hmm. um, you talked about like putting like that one piece of content that the one that one video can be like and spread upon multiple platforms yes, which I, yes. I'm not doing I, on. that's one thing that I hate like we spend so much mm -hmm. time up on the, these damn videos but we just put it out mm -hmm. and do nothing with it yeah so if you have that that same problem go over to Ben's channel and learn what you should be doing instead all right and I feel like how do I how do I even end this I have no idea <laughs> bye y'all <Bye>, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay good okay right, so um that's it. Okay, that one. Okay.